everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Allison from In Sochi Begins, and today I'm going to be showing you all how I made this cute embroidered reversible drawstring pouch. It's inspired by my most recent obsession, The Untamed. So if you want to see how I made this pouch, keep watching! So here I'm cutting my fabric. I'm cutting four rectangles, each 8.5 by 6.5 inches. So I recently got into The Untamed after a recommendation from a friend. I've been holding off for the longest time, but she finally got me to watch it and it's all gone downhill from there. I'm so obsessed. I've lost so much sleep reading fanfiction about this after finishing the drama. If y'all have any fanfic recommendations, let me know in the comments below. I've read many in the week that it's been since finishing the drama. So I thought I'd channel my obsession into something productive. And so here we are with this embroidery project. I'll probably be making more of these in the future to curb my obsession. So now that I've finished cutting my fabric, I'm going to do the embroidery on them. Here I'm hooping in my stabilizer. This is tearaway stabilizer and one piece of fabric. I'm positioning the fabric so that the embroidery design will be in the bottom of the fabric. So I'm going to do one with the Lan family crest and one with the Zhang family crest. I'm starting with the Lan family crest and this design in particular takes about 35 minutes to stitch out and it uses a fill stitch with a diamond pattern. The design was really easy to digitize. I used both Inkscape and Stitch Artist. Um, if you all want to see how I digitized this, um, let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video for that. If you'd like to purchase this design, it's available in my Etsy store, so I'll leave a link for it down below in the description box. And now we're done stitching out the Lawn Family Crest. Um, off screen, I'm just going to snip out the loose threads and the jumps, and then I'm going to move on to showing y'all how I stitched out the Jiang family crest. And now you can see that I'm working on the Jiang family crest. For this design, I decided to use a lace fill instead of a fill stitch because the design is pretty complicated, and I also thought the lace was really pretty and delicate um, to go with the flower. This design takes about 37 minutes to stitch out. Okay, so now we're done with our embroidery. Guys, look how pretty it is with the lace stitch. I can't get over it. Anyways, now that we're done with the embroidery, we can start sewing the bag together. Alright, so I've laid out my fabric here. I have the front and back of one side of the bag. I'm going to serge the left and right sides so that they don't fray when I put the ribbons in for the drawstring. So I'm going to serge all four pieces of my fabric. The one that I embroidered with the Zhang family crest, the back of that, the one I embroidered with the Lan family crest, and the back of that one. So all together by that is eight serge sides that I'm going to do right now. I don't have a serger so I'm using an overlock foot and using a corresponding overlock stitch on my sewing machine. Alright, so I've finished serging all of my pieces of fabric, and now I'm going to put them right sides together so that I can sew around the edges to create the pouches at the top of each pouch, about two and a half inches from the top. I'm going to leave a one inch gap on both sides for the drawstring that I'm going to insert later. So here you can see I've marked on the left and right sides a one inch gap so that when I sew I know where I'm going to stop and where I'm going to start again as I sew along the sides. So here you can see I've finished 
sewing together the outer bag, I made sure to leave one inch holes on both sides so I can insert the drawstring later and I'm going to turn it right side out and start the inner bag. So here I'm starting the inner bag. Notice I'm leaving a one inch gap near the top so I can insert the drawstrings later. And around that one inch gap, I'm making sure to go back and forth with my stitches a few times to make sure they're secure and nothing will come loose when the drawstrings are pulled over time. as well. Notice the holes on both sides are in the same place so the drawstrings line up when I attach the inner and outer pouches together and I'm turning it right side out so you can see what it looks like. Here I have the pouches both right side out so you can see what they look like next to each other. Before I insert the lawn pouch into the jong pouch, I'm going to turn it back inside out so that when we reverse them, the pretty embroidery will be on the outside. Alright, so here you can see I've turned the lawn pouch back inside out and I'm going to insert it into the jong pouch. And then I'm going to sew them together. It's important that the inner pouch is inserted inside out so that when we reverse it, the pretty side will be showing. Alright, so I've finished inserting the inner pouch into the outer pouch. And we can see that if we were to flip it around, that the pretty embroidery will show instead of the back side of the fabric. And we can see that the holes on both of the pouches line up, so that we'll be able to insert our drawstrings later. So now I'm going to sew two lines around the drawstring holes, and I will seal off the top. Here you can see I've folded the top edges down and pinned them in place, and now I'm going to stitch them. I wanted my bag to be quite small, so I have to stitch them without wrapping it around my sewing machine, but if you want it to be easier, I would recommend making the width a bit wider so you can wrap it around and not do this carefully sew and hope I don't accidentally close my bag game that I'm doing here. together, we can see that it's starting to look reversible. All we have to do now is add some stitching for the drawstrings. I'm going to sew two lines around the top and bottom of the slip that we have on both sides. To make it easier, I've drawn in pencil a line so I know where I'm supposed to sew. This was a bit difficult because it, I couldn't fit around my sewing machine, but I just very carefully <laughs> sewed and pulled away fabric to make sure I didn't shut anything off accidentally. If it fit around my sewing machine, it would have been a lot easier, so I think I'm going to make another one that's a bit bigger than this. Hmm. Maybe I'll make a whole set of these for when I travel. When I can travel again. Alright, so now that I've finished the top stitch, I'm going to do the bottom stitch around the drawstring holes being very careful, again, so I don't accidentally close off my bag. Alright, so now I've finished sewing the top and bottom around my drawstring holes, and now I'm going to add the drawstrings. Here I'm using two straps I got off of an old Missile. You could also use ribbon or string or something like that. It's really up to you. And inserting it, I'm going to use a crochet hook so I can hook it around the string and then pull it through my straps. 
So I want to have them going in opposite directions so that when I pull, they'll yank each other away and close the bag. Alright, and now we're done. So if you pull on the drawstrings, it'll scrunch up the bag, and then if we tie it together, we'll get a very cute bag that's similar to the ones they had in the drama. And if we untie it, flip it inside out, we'll see the jam crust. So now if we pop back out to the drawstrings, we'll have our reversible bag. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more contents. I post new videos every week. Thank you.